Hello everyone, welcome to my sixth JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use uh, JTabbed pin component. So, you will use JTabbed pin when you have multiple com components uh, supposed to share scene, please. In uh, most cases, uh, those components will be J panels. So, let's start from creating a new class. And I'll name my class tab B. Okay. Let's import everything from Java Swing. And let's inherit everything from JFrame class. Now, here I'm going to make uh, two J panels. Uh, first panel will be named like first panel. Let's copy this. Okay. Second panel will be second panel. Now, also I'll make two labels. First label. First will be argument. Let's copy this and here is going to be second label and it will be second. Now let's make J tab pin. Tab pin equal to J tab pin. Now let's make constructor. First thing I'm going to do is to add first label on my first panel and then second label on my second panel. Okay, now let's add our panels on JTAB B. As a first argument, I'll pass title of my tab, like here you can see, and title will be first panel, and as a second argument I'll pass my first panel reference type variable. Now I'll add my second panel title will be second second panel and second panel and finally I will add my tab being on my G frame tab being Okay, now let's instantiate our tab being class. Let's follow standard procedure. First, we are go going to call set default close operation method, and it will be JFrame dispose on close. Then, I'll call my set size method. And it will be like 600 with 4, 400. And finally, I will call my set visible method and pass through as an argument. That's it. Let's save it. Okay, let's uh, save it and run. 
And here it is. We can switch between our panels by clicking on these tabs, as you can see here. That's all. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.